This man must have a death wish. Oh, oh, money! Besides getting all these free snacks, this is actually a terrible idea. In this video, we can see this guy pushing a vending machine very aggressively, and then he drops it down and a bunch of snacks fall out, and he's really happy. And many of you guys watching this video might have also tried this yourself. And while this looks like kind of a good idea on the surface, let me tell you why it's not. These vending machines are very heavy, weighing hundreds of pounds. They're very large and awkward to move. And since 1978, there have been over 30 recorded deaths from vending machines, from people trying to push them over to get free snacks, and then the vending machine will end up falling on them, crushing them. In this article behind me, you can see this guy, Daniel Todd Erickson. He got really mad because the machine took his quarters without giving him a drink, so he pushed it over. The machine landed on him, crushing him. In fact, on certain years, vending machines kill more people than sharks do, which is pretty crazy. Now, if you try this, it's not to say you're for sure going to get smashed, but I wouldn't recommend it. This man must have a death wish. Ho ho ho! Not really too sure what the thought process was behind this idea, but this guy did it anyways. In the video you guys just watched, this guy took an excavator and decided to pick up a massive hornet's nest. Now, I can totally understand wanting to remove a hornet's nest, they can be quite dangerous, however, this is not the way to do it. He then moved it and while in the process, dropped this massive load of hornets right here. And a few minutes later, the hornets decided that they were pretty pissed off and decided to attack the closest thing that was making the most noise, which just so happened to be the thing that he was sitting in. The man did get stung several times and once you're stung once, this is bad. Hornets will oftentimes release a pheromone that will inspire other hornets to attack the same thing that they're attacking. Hornets cause roughly 220,000 emergency room visits per year and cause 60 deaths as well. So depending on how your body reacts to a sting can really determine the outcome. Like my friend here, this guy is from college, got bit on the lip and ended up swelling up like a balloon. This video is still live on YouTube, by the way. I filmed this back in 2017. Our YouTube channel is called Crash Gang. Good luck finding it. And then just to summarize one more time, don't do this. This is a terrible idea. This man must have a death wish. <laughs> Most of you guys probably don't see what's wrong with this video, but this right here is a terrible idea that could have some pretty serious implications. These guys have built a circular slip and slide where they hold on to a rope and there's a lawnmower right over here in the middle that pulls them around. This does look like a lot of fun, but this guy ended up going at a very high speed. So he lets go and slides off of the slip and slide. Once he comes off the slip and slide, we can see that there's a bunch of water coming out of his shorts. And this is the part in particular that is very dangerous. It's called an accidental enema. For those that aren't familiar with the term enema, this is when you put water up the portion of your body that waste comes out to clean it. When you do this, you have to be very careful because this portion of your body is very delicate. But when water shoots up there at a very high speed, causing an accidental enema, this can cause internal bleeding and also rearrange your colon. Both of which require immediate medical attention and can be life-threatening if you don't. This is also something that is relatively common with water skiers when they fall backwards with their legs open, they'll get an accidental enema. Again, if this happens, you have to be very careful and most likely end up going to the doctor. This man must have a death wish. <laughs> you know what, man? You do you, but I am not going to have anything to do with this. Not going to happen. The clip you guys just watched shows this tourist about to jump in to this random hole found in the Amazon River. He hypes himself, jumps in, and sinks all the way to the bottom, and for a second, our hearts stop. But about five seconds later, he resurfaces just fine. Now, what this guy has discovered here and what he jumped into is something known as a river pothole. These take quite a long time to form, and this happens when small rocks fall into a hole and they start moving around in this cyclical pattern. These small rocks are called grinders because they grind the stone down and create the pothole. And because of this cyclical pattern of the water, if you're not a strong swimmer, jumping into one of these potholes can be extremely dangerous. Also, if you've never jumped into the pothole before, it might be a much larger system than you realize and you could get trapped underwater. Granted, this water right here is not moving super fast and hopefully he knew the layout before jumping in. But if he didn't know the layout and did this just on a whim, I would say that this is a horrible idea. This guy must have a death wish. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is one animal that you definitely would not want to pet. Hyenas are one of the few animals from the wild that I strictly do not like. Perhaps it's from watching Lion King back when I was younger, but still, I really don't like hyenas, and here's a few reasons. First off, hyenas have been known to attack humans. For example, in Zimbabwe, an elderly man of the age of 87 named Tendai was drugged from his hut and then pulled out by a pack of hyenas and devoured. 
When villagers finally found Tende, the lower half of his body was completely missing. These hyenas are still being hunted and are still at large, they haven't been found yet. Hyenas also have a bite force of 1,100 pounds per square inch, which is almost nine times the amount of a bite force of a human, so if you get bit by a hyena, there's an unlikely chance that you're escaping. Another really weird fact is that females are more hung than most of us here, and they use this part of their body to reproduce as well as go to the bathroom. This fact isn't disturbing, I just wanted to throw it in. So essentially the moral of the story, no matter how cute or nice a hyena is acting, this is not a good idea. This man must have a death wish. <laughs> you should never ever do what this person is doing. It's pretty hard to understand what's going on here, so let's break it down. This guy right here is traveling across a zip line using a carabiner, and carabiners are not meant for zip lines, these are what you use during rock climbing. In the beginning of the video they were going slow and controlled, which was the goal the entire time, but eventually things got out of control, and there's no way you can stop here. You might have also noticed that they're not wearing gloves, so there's no way that they're going to be able to grab this. This is extremely hot. Fortunately, they end up coming to a stop and control themselves before they hit this, which would have basically been game over right away. But now they're stuck out here with nowhere to go, so you might be wondering, how are they going to get down? Well, this is where the full context comes in. They're going to jump. This person is a base jumper. This is a very high adrenaline sport where you travel to man-made objects and jump off of them, pulling the parachute right before you hit the ground. So basically this person did one really dangerous thing only to get to the middle and do one of the most dangerous sports in the world. This man must have a death wish. <laughs> if you saw this plane right here, no you didn't. This right here is a TikTok video that I was tagged in that has the caption, awesome plane landing I saw whilst hiking in Colombia. Now I'm not sure how many of you guys understand why this is so bad, but let me explain here. So we can see this very small plane here landing somewhere in the mountains. Ultimately, the plane ends up landing on this very small, dirt, dilapidated runway in the middle of nowhere. Now here's the deal. Colombia, for those that didn't know it, is known for making very high quality snow, if you guys catch my drift. And one of the most common ways that this snow is transported is through the use of aviation. Typically what they'll do is hire one or two private pilots that are going to run this wherever they need it to be distributed to. There are countless news articles of these planes being caught with hundreds of thousands of dollars of merchandise in them. If this video is legit, this was a horrible idea posting this, and this guy is somewhere that he should not be. Get out of there ASAP. And for the record, I would not recommend hiking anywhere this far out in Colombia. It's far too dangerous because there's a lot of underground operations going on out there. This man must have a death wish. <laughs> this right here is an animal that you absolutely never want to touch. This is a TikTok video that I was tagged in where these people found a very strange looking fish that kind of resembles a face. This guy ends up touching the mouth of the fish and the fish retaliates and the guy backs off. This fish right here is a very famous venomous fish known as a stonefish. These guys have earned their name from the simple fact that they resemble a stone when they're on the ocean floor. As you can see right here, this camouflage is top notch. If you weren't paying attention or looking for a stonefish, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this and a rock. Stonefish are most dangerous when you can't see them and accidentally step on them. And this is because of these spines right here that inject potentially deadly venom into your foot. These spines are pressure activated and there's venom glands at the base that pump the venom into whatever it's stuck into. If a stonefish sting isn't treated in time, then it will cause death. At the very least, getting stung by this is going to be one of the most painful experiences that you've ever had. This man must have a death wish. <laughs> this guy is absolutely nuts for doing this. I got tagged in this guy's video right here to react and I was watching this full minute long video and this was the clip that really stood out to me. This guy typically walks through the Everglades at night finding really poisonous things, but here he's in the rainforest. And the thing that he's stumbled upon right here is the wandering spider. Now if you don't know what a wandering spider is, let me cue you in. These spiders are very large, they can grow up to 10 centimeters in length, and they are very aggressive and venomous. So seeing this dude risk the hiss by poking this extremely aggressive venomous spider is crazy. In some cases, their bites can be lethal to humans, but this is not super common. However, their symptoms are definitely not enjoyable. The most dangerous symptoms are the raising or lowering of their blood pressure, convulsions, and shock. But the most crazy one is, boys, if you get bit, down there is going to be excited for a long time. We're talking hours and very painful. Take out this wandering spider. Don't touch these guys. This man must have a death wish. Oh, ho, ho.
You better get away from there and fast. In this video, this young man right here ends up finding a whirlpool in a flooded field. This whirlpool is quite small, but this is still not something that you want to hang around because this means that there's something more serious happening below the surface of the earth. These whirlpools can actually be precursors showing that there is a hollowed out space underneath the ground that will eventually lead to a sinkhole. Sinkholes can happen very abruptly. One moment you're on solid ground and the next moment you're falling down a very deep and dark pit that you don't know how deep it is. These do happen in residential areas as well, and they vary on size. Some of them are quite small, while others can be absolutely massive. Just to hammer the point home, this man was sleeping in bed in Florida when all of a sudden his entire room got swallowed by a sinkhole. He went missing, his remains were never recovered, and obviously you guys know what happened. So while this might look like fun, feeding this sinkhole right here, different trees and stuff, you really should not be there. You need to get the heck out.